I'm Heather Richman. Welcome back to my vlog. It's been a long time. In fact, my husband told me not to do this vlog and I said that I had to <laughs> because I needed closure. This is the fifth time I have attempted to record this vlog this morning. And this is a great example <laughs> as to why I've decided to step away from the vlogs because technology hates me. You say hi? You know what, say hi. Your hair is still green. It was Halloween last night. It was Michelangelo, we were the Ninja Turtles. And she's been content for about an hour until I pushed record. Then she wanted to sit on my lap, which is pretty typical. You go watch your movie. Can you give me a minute? No. Please? No. That. That, no, you can't have that. Please. No. Please. Okay, hang on. She was fine in there until I hit record, which has been the reality of these vlogs. And then I was always out of space. Everything I try to record on, I'm like this right now, I've had to delete three videos just to get enough space to do this vlog today. And then my computer is not set up to handle all these videos. Like I just kept hitting dead end after dead end. And I wanted them to be more candid, but let's just face it, I look one step shy of death um, most of the week. So it was tough to put that on, yeah. So candid, when I tried to have candid moments, like my kids wouldn't cooperate and nothing exciting was happening and it was lots of wasted camera space. I've learned a lot of things about vlogging. I've learned a lot of things about myself through this process. Okay, you gotta let me finish. Whether it's a child, a sickness, a something, there's just always something and I have to go, are you sending me a sign that I should not be doing these vlogs? And that's okay because you have to understand there's this whole other side to my life that I love. Not that I don't love vlogging, but I started vlogging as a way to promote a book that I really felt like the Lord was leading me to write. It occurred to me really around um, spring or summer of this year when I was like, God, am I supposed to continue doing this vlog? Because it is so hard for me to carve out the time to do it. I don't want to sound over spiritual, but he never said, now I want you to create a platform and promote your book. Like he left it at, you need to write this book. Maybe I was supposed to write this book for Evan. It's been such a learning process. And I feel like I've come closer to the Lord by writing it because I've had to struggle through some thought processes. I'm grateful for it, even if nothing comes of it. Maybe Evan, Maybe it's something I can give her that I've chronicled the last three years of just learning about being the best mom that I can be. When I prioritize my life, and I'm still working on prioritizing my kids and my family, but the next is this other side of me, which is music ministry with my husband. And there was a period there where we were, let's just say, less than inspired. And maybe he was just letting us smooth out some rough edges, but we both kind of came to the conclusion that we missed it. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, my husband and I sing together. We um, attempt to write music together. Neither one of us are very good at it. And that's a part-time, full-time job in that. He kind of works that in addition to his current job. So, so that's a lot of time he has to devote outside of his work schedule. And I value what he does. And I've, the majority of the house and the kids falls on my shoulders at that point by my choice, by our choice. And so all that to say, no, I don't love vlogging more than I love all of these other things. When I have one half day a week that a friend graciously volunteers to watch my daughter, I don't devote that time to vlogging like I used to. And why aren't you doing dietetics anymore? Dietetics was a stepping stone to med school. Like that, was, <laughs> that was never supposed to be it. So when I decided not to go to med school three years ago to go pursue that because of all these other things, kind of where I'm at now, fell back on dietetics. There's a reason why I have that degree and that certification and I will probably use it in the future with beginner bellies which is also on hold until I get some other moms that can help me out or until the Lord opens up that time to do it. I still think it's a great idea. I have everything ready to push send. I just need funding and time. I could do it. I mean, I could push through and do beginner bellies but like most things, I charge through. I just don't know if the appropriate time is now because I do still have a two-year-old and I forget that sometimes. Um, it's hard to forget that. <laughs> I have a two-year-old and I have this ministry I have with my husband that I just love. And when I sit down and write the list of where I'm gonna spend my time, aside from my own personal worship, which takes a hit when you overextend yourself and my family, and then my ministry and what I love to do music-wise, you know, there's not much left after that. And, and that's okay. It's frustrating sometimes because I still have these thoughts right here and I think, I've got to record a vlog. It's been like five months since I've done one and this is going to be my New Year's resolution. And you really have to fight that because Satan would want nothing more than to keep me so busy that I miss out on all these other things. In many ways, I'm proud of myself for saying no. In other ways, I feel somewhat like a failure because I didn't push through and finish them. At the end of the day, I think I'm going to look back and be happy with my decisions. But I would love to continue to do videos because I think moms are encouraged. And I have this girlfriend, Amy, and we started Buckmaster Combs. And we need 
a camera techie person because I don't want to deal with the tech side of it because technology truly hates me. But I have so many ideas for vlogs, y'all. I have so many ideas. And, um, and Amy does too. And she's a writer. She's really good. She's like an, a legit actor writer. And um, I'm just a, a wannabe. And I just enjoy it. So, um, But we need a mom or whatever, somebody who has maybe you're looking for something a little bit extra and you have young kids and you know your way around editing software and a camera and all that good stuff. We will provide all kinds of content. We just need a mom who can devote the time and energy and uh, expertise to the rest of it, to getting it YouTube worthy. So that's where we're at. If you know somebody, text me, email me. Most people that follow this vlog know me personally. So if you know somebody who fits that, description let me know and um, I'm not saying goodbye forever for the vlogs but I just want to be real with y'all we're getting into the end of the year and things are not going to get any less busy and chances are there won't be much vlogging going on today was kind of a fluke that I could even do this and again this is my fifth try and so far we're, we're still rolling but my battery's about to die so just thanks for stopping by and coming along with me in this little journey of vlog exploration. Let me know if you know somebody. I would love to continue with Buckmaster Combs because Amy and I had a lot of fun doing the, the few videos we did that most of which never made it um, to YouTube because we all have other jobs and young kids. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day. My daughter is going to fall off my desk now.